Welcome back. Today we're going to be putting it together a 13 foot Boston Whaler. We're going to cut this video into five different parts and we're going to show you step by step what we do here so it's easy to understand. So welcome to part three. In the last video we mounted our outboard and we put it onto our boat and in this video we're going to be showing you how to mount your Boston Whaler console. So the first part you're going to need is you're going to have to buy a kit. Now in this case, we're going to use Seastar. Seastar has a lot of various products. This is not sponsored, by the way. We've been using a lot of their products, at least as helms go and consoles for our Boston Whalers. So that's what we're going to be using today. So here, this is what we normally get stuck using. It's in pretty tough shape, as you can tell. A lot of wiggle, and you can see a lot of rust and corrosion just throughout. So thankfully, we have been blessed it's brand new, it's shiny, like I don't, I've never in my life seen something this shiny. Okay, I have, but like, this, look at this, this is pretty amazing, like if you compare this to this, like, come on, come on, this is, it's pretty significant. So we won't need that. And today we're going to be using this helm instead. Next you're going to need your bezel or your mount for your helm. So we have two options. There is a 90 degree option, right? And so it would sit in the console like this. And then this would sit on top. And it would basically sit completely. Well, if I, if I put it on, sure, but basically it would sit on and it would be flat. And so your wheel would sit like this. But for us at least, we prefer a different option. So today, we will be using the 20 degree option. So we have our 20 degree bezel and our mount and all our other components. I won't really break this part down for you because it already comes in the kit. Like I said, for this one, it is by Sea Star Solutions. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go check it out. We'll leave a link down in the description below. Let's get started. So first, we need our console. Okay. Next, you're going to put your mount in. So as you can see, there's going to be two holes in the top and one hole in the bottom, at least in our console. If you don't have these holes in your console, you're going to want to drill them. And the reason we're putting two in the top and one on the bottom is because when you put the mount in, it's going to sit like this. Now, but it's angled this way downwards. So when this comes through, it'll sit like this, if that makes sense. You'll see it, you'll see it. It'll make more sense once you put it all together. So, As tools go, you're also going to need a 7 16 inch socket. You're going to need a half inch wrench and a half inch socket. And you're also going to need a 3 4 inch socket as well. The thing you may not have noticed is that we actually changed out most of the pieces in the kit for stainless steel equivalents because we've had a problem with the ones that come in the kit, they tend to rust and then they become very difficult to take off. So we've decided to switch to stainless steel. We'll see if that's any better. Now we're gonna get back to mounting our console. So as you can see, the mount is already in. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take these bolts, okay? These bolts go through. You might need a hammer, you may not. Now that you have your bolts through, you're gonna take your washers and the nut, and you're gonna go on the back side of the console. I'm just putting them on, since they're nylock, you're not gonna be able to get them on all the way without the ratchet and your wrench. Press the wrench, you're just gonna take your wrench. You're gonna to proceed to tighten all of them. So you're also just going to want to tighten them um, each a little bit. That way you make sure the mount goes on straight. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! So now we have our mount mounted. We can put in our helm. So now we have our helm. We're going to take these pins out and you'll see where they go later. So the helm is going to come up through here and you're just going to want it to line up with these three holes here. 
Now, it's also important, flip it over for you, that you make it face this way, which is the opposite of what I had it. But you want it to face this way because your um, steering cable is going to go um, through one end, right, and then out the other. So it's gonna come in this way and then out this way. If you put it this way, if you turn it 180 degrees, right, like that's not gonna work. And you also don't want it coming out towards your legs because that wouldn't really work either. And as you can see, it's console's not made for that. It doesn't fit. Um, and you also can't do it that way, which means the only option is that you go out sideways, which makes perfect sense because that's where our sideboard's gonna mount, right here. And so right inside the boat, it's gonna sit like this. So your steering cable is going to go out and through the side, not through the side of the boat, but along the side of the boat, right? Okay. So now that you guys understand that this is where um, the helm is gonna sit, we're gonna mount it. In the next step, you're gonna wanna take your three skinnier bolts, skinny and longer. That's, you've already used the other ones, so these are our only option left. Um, and they are going to go into your helm. So you're gonna wanna line up your helm and then you're just gonna put each of these in. I'm just gonna get them started that way, kind of facing the right way. You don't wanna also strip the threads, so you just wanna make sure everything goes in smoothly. Oh wait. I don't know if these are gonna work. Why? I don't know if these are the right ones. So to clarify, we won't be using these ones. Instead, we're gonna be using these shorter small ones. Um, for some reason, they didn't come with it, but I know these are the right ones because we've had it for other styles of Sea Star um, helms. So there's the third one. Take this. Scott making his guest star appearance on this video. All right, that's the, that's all we'll see of him okay. the rest of the video. So, um, I'm just getting these started. I'm not tightening them down all the way. I just want to make sure I get them started and lined up before I do all the tightening. Okay. Now we're good. Now that we are all set up, we are going to move into the next step. Which is going to be putting on the cover. Ta-da! That's, that's not all there is to it. Give me one sec. There are two screws that go in here and here. And you're just gonna line them up. You're gonna wanna make sure it's even. And you're just gonna screw them in. So I'll go grab a screwdriver. We'll do that right now. Oh, there you go. Okay, and we're all set. There you go, pretty secure. So now that we've done that, we're going to, to take our key which is this thing that looks like half a circle. I'm gonna put a little grease. This is where the key goes, right? And you can see it right there. And then don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Get a little bit on the key. Next, as you can see in this wheel, there's a little spot right here for a key. That'll allow it so that when you turn it, instead of just spinning on this shaft, it'll actually have the key spin the shaft and the wheel at the same time together. So I'm gonna line up this little slot right here with the key. There we go. Ta-da! Okay. Next up, you're gonna take your washer and you're gonna put it right there. Then you're gonna put the nut on. Oh. Now you're going to take your 3-4 socket. Wow, that like, look at that. That barely, okay, I'm gonna get an extension. I'm gonna tighten this bad boy. Awesome. Now we're on. Now it won't come off. Now I just, see? Sturdy. 10 out of 10. Okay, maybe 9 out of 10 because of all the issues, but now we're looking pretty good. Your helm's on, your wheel's on. All you need is your steering rod. Steering cable. Here we have our steering cable. Scott's holding the other end. Um, this is going to go through here. It's going to come out the other end. So, then you would just have all this greasy-ness. Yeah, yeah. 
So to prevent that from just getting everywhere, you have a cover. And so this cover goes in here. We're gonna stick that in there, make sure it's secure. Then this pin, like I said earlier, is gonna come right in here. There you go. So this job doesn't require two people, but two people definitely makes it easier. So I'm gonna have Scott feed, and then I'm going to f continue to pull it through with the wheel. So Scott. Oh, there it is. Okay. Then it's gonna click. Ta-da! That's how you know when it's in all the way. Take that second pin, just put that back. And there you have it. Now we're done. Everything is all put together. All we have to do is install this into the whaler. The only other thing we would need to do for this console would be, in this case, there is a hole you may have noticed. That is going to be for our hour meter for our Suzuki's. So if you had to put in an hour meter, you would have to cut a hole and install one, or you could put it in the top if you have, if it's bigger, you know, depending on what product you're using. So if you haven't subscribed yet, we've noticed that most of the people who watch our videos and actually really enjoy them haven't subscribed yet. So if you'd like to, um, no pressure. If not, um, just feel free to leave a like or a comment down below saying this video was helpful. Um, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.